Iconic, realistic faction units based on real army prototypes were one of the most important pillars of Endwar. Endwar Online will deliver more of the same, only this time with many more units all taken to the next level. Is it a challenge to expand and improve on Endwar's gritty realism? Sure, but it's a challenge we are more than happy to take on. Today, our Endwar Online game designer Joe Su and level designer Thomas Smith will tell us more about this part of the game. Heroes and their combat units are now part of a single package, blending deep gameplay, story and personality with realistic technology. The game takes place many years after End War. A lot has happened since then. Some of the armies are still using the same units and technologies. We like to think of these as old friends. In some cases, we also improved older combat units, the successors of previous ones, outfitted with more advanced military technology. Endwar Online is set in a world that's just suffered from a global war. The world's economies have collapsed and resources are short, so the armies are desperate to find anything they can from the 80s and 90s. In some cases, the armies have stumbled onto caches of old Cold War weapons as well, and we've retrofitted these items with state-of-the-art electronics, sights and other upgrades. This unique setting allows us to bring in some legendary weapons too, like the AK-47, which may have been designed in 1945, but it's still one of the most popular assault rifles of all time, or the TU-160, which is the largest attack aircraft and tactical bomber. New technology is also being developed. Slowly, yeah, but high-tech futuristic designs do exist. That's why we have units like the highly advanced European stealth bomber. As you can see, if you are an Endwar player coming fresh to Endwar Online, you will be reunited with many of your old friends. In some cases, those old friends have been improved on, and you can count on many other surprises, both new and from the archives. Now it's time to check in with the rest of the team and see what sort of resolutions they made for the new year. I want to polish UI pages and create cool maps and have more high-tech units. I want to optimize the game and solve all the bugs. For the new year, I wish I would make as many challenger maps as possible. My resolution is to launch and War Online close better as soon as possible, as good as possible. What I want for 2014 for End War is a super well-balanced game and a super fun experience. What I want, I hope my team don't eat, don't sleep, just to work faster, faster and faster, because our fans are waiting. So, let's work. We have also some really big news. Our first technical public test of End War Online is going to take place at the end of February. We would like to say a big thank you to all of those who participated in the Early Access Sweepstakes Contest on Facebook. We will be contacting you lucky winners soon and then see you on the battlefield. In the meantime, stay tuned and follow our brand new Vine channel for more surprises. And Xinyan Kuaila! <laughs>